Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Skyhoy panel and a video switcher. We'll also integrate PGC cameras and a video player to show the versatility of our products. Let's have a look at the setup. Today, we're showing an Airfly Pro with an ATEM 2ME Constellation switcher. We have cameras from Canon and Panasonic and a HyperDeck video player. But these are just examples. It could be any blue pill panel and it could be many other video switchers, such as vMix, TriCaster, Kairos and others. And it could be a wealth of other cameras. You can see the full list of compatible devices on devices.skahoy.com. You'll find a link to this in the description. I've connected the devices to an Ethernet switch and set static IP addresses on all of them. I also hooked up Internet access. Finally, I connected SDI cables from our three sources to the video switcher and from program out to a small monitor. Here's what we need to do next. Open Reactor and create a new project. Control the video switcher and tweak settings. Integrate cameras and video player. And, as a bonus, add custom commands to the buttons. OK, let's get started. Step 1. Open Reactor and create a new project. We open a web browser and enter the Airfly Pro IP address. Now we see Reactor the configuration manager for Bluepill. I prefer to create new projects for my setups, so I'll click Manage Projects in the window top and click Create New Project. Name it, save it and activate it. Now we have a clean slate to work on. Step 2. Control the video switcher. All devices we want to control must be added to the project. In the right side of the screen, we click Add Device. By default, Reactor will auto-discover devices on your network if it's able to. You can also click Add Device manually to see a list of all compatible devices. I'll enter ATEM to filter the list and select ATEM 2ME Constellation. Now you see the settings window. Here we enter its IP address. Shortly after, you'll see it is connected. Please note, device cores such as ATEM are automatically downloaded from our server. For this to work, you must have internet access when adding new devices. If you're on a closed network, you can install them manually. This is shown in our video, How to Update Software. All right. The ATEM is now ready to be controlled. We only need to assign commands to the buttons and knobs on the panel. A fast way to get started is by selecting a default configuration. They provide a full set of commands, layers and logic already assigned. We have default configurations for multiple devices and also in different sizes. ATEM Small is for one Skahoy panel, ATEM Medium is for two linked panels, and so on. Finally, you can also make your own custom configuration from scratch. We'll use the default configuration ATEM Small and are ready to go. You can see all input names are pulled from the ATEM. We can select Inputs, Cut, Transition, and have a wealth of functions available. It's all good. By clicking ATEM inputs, we can tweak the settings. Here, we can map video and audio channels, write our own names, and set a fixed color to buttons. We can also drag lines to change the order of the inputs. All of this is updated instantly. We really have full control of the ATEM. Actually, it could be multiple ATEMs. Let me show you. I click Add Device, select a second ATEM, and enter its IP address. 
it gets its own ID number and is connected. Now I open the engineering menu with shift and fade to black. Here I can switch between items. Wow, we've already covered the setup for normal video switching. This would be enough for many users, but we'll go beyond and control other devices too. Step 3. Integrate cameras and video player. The main focus of this configuration is to control video switches. But it also has easy integration of other devices using camera selector and quick class. We'll start with camera selector. Let's add the two cameras to our project. Click Add Device, search for N700 and select the Canon CR N700 camera. In the settings window, I enter its IP address, the credentials and connection type. After the device core is installed, it gets connected. Click Add Device again. Search for UE160 and select the Panasonic UE160 camera. I enter its IP address and it gets connected. Now I click the camera selector Add button. I hold down the shift key on my keyboard to allow multiple selections and select the two cameras. That's it. Let's test it. Click WIS only. Now we see the cameras. Select one to have full PTC control, as well as preset handling and a range of parameters for the camera. The same is true for the second camera. You can change the sort order by simply dragging the camera icons and right click and select remove to delete a camera again. It's super easy. Now let's look at Quick Class. Quick Class means a pre made configuration that only uses six buttons, typically for a limited command set. This could be Aja Kumo routing, Hyperdeck controls, OBS scene select, and many others. It could even be your own user class where you just have six buttons for whatever you need. On Airfly Pro, the Quick Class is placed in the top left. You can add multiple and toggle between them. Let me show you how. As usual, we add the device we want to control to the project. Click Add Device, enter Hyper and select Hyperdeck Mini Studio. Enter its IP address. It now gets connected. Click the Quick Class Add button and select Hyperdeck. Great, let's test it. In the top row, you now see Hyperdeck. This opens the Quick Class. We can play, stop, access clips, and access more commands in the shift layer. It all just works. To return to the normal ATEM commands, we hold Shift and press Back. All right. I hope you agree that we have full ATEM controls and can easily integrate a wide range of devices. And remember, right now we are using ATEM, but this could be vMix, TriCaster, Kairos, and so on. After this, there's only one more thing I want to show you. Bonus info. Add custom commands. You may want to add just a few custom commands to the buttons. This could be Atom Play Macro 3 or Canon Do Focus One Shot or whatever you want. It could even be multiple commands in a sequence. You can of course do this. Just as you can build your own configuration from scratch, you can also modify a default configuration. This is done on the configuration page. Click Configuration. Here we see graphic representation of the panel. In the Page button, we make sure that we are on the correct configuration and have selected the User section. 
The fold configurations are made up of multiple layers, and on top we have made an empty layer called user section. If you assign commands in the user section, they will take precedence. But beware, they may even hide other commands in layers below. OK, let's add a command. Click U1 to select it. Now we see all devices in the inspector and can select commands. I'll open Atom, open Macro, and select Play Macro. And select Macro 1. That's it. It's really simple. Play Macro 1 is now assigned to the button. Let's do one more. This time we want to recall camera presets from two cameras at the same time. Click the U2 button, open CR in 700, open Preset, and select Preset Store and Recall. And select Preset 1. Now click Add Behavior. Close Canon and open UE160. Open Preset and select Preset Store and Recall. Here we want Preset 3. Wow! We now have one button that recalls presets from two different cameras. Fantastic! That's it, we are done. Now you know how to do basic switcher setup. Integrate other devices and even add your own custom commands. Please watch our other how to videos on reactor setup and configuration. You'll find links to these in the description. Thank you for watching.